What's up? I got a message for y'all. I got a message for y'all. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. All three with the MVP. A lot of sacrifices got to split on me. Yeah, I'm in the building with a struggle win. Got a lot of weight, so please don't tug on me. Yeah, I hate how they switch sides. They won't kill my vibe. Come on in, come on in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on, come on in, it's been a good wheel. It's been a good wheel. Come on in, come on in. Yeah, I got this blood on me, a high head, I got this gun on me. How you run on me? You was my door, so how you front on me? It was really broke, so how you stand on me? Come on. Yeah, I got my stretches like a barcode. Why you say you falling, but you Come on in, it's been a good wheel, y'all. It's been a good real. Come on in, y'all. It's been a good real. I'm gonna talk to you. Huh. I would. I would. This is the king, is my plug. Come on in. He me no love. All of my faith in the Lord. Right that new pistol, yeah. I'm by the house of my mind. Sleeper, the priest, and the dog. I got my feet in the grind. All of us losing my grind. You must be losing your mind. I come to trade where they shine. Walk from the door like a guy. First, got this blood on us. Make a devil get this thug off us. I'm God, I'm ready to go. Let's go, y'all. Let's get ready to talk. Let me talk to y'all. I gotta, I gotta talk to my people today. I gotta talk to my people. I want, I want to get. I got a real important message that I want to get uh, off, off my chest. That I want to talk to our people about. That it has to be uh, uh, said and demonstrated. Uh, what's up, sis? Uh, so let me just start like saying by saying. Uh, this message is strictly for the hip hop community. And today I'm about to expose the devil and possibly save lives. This is for the hip hop community. This ain't this ain't for this ain't for uh no fake ones. Uh I just need a few real ones that if you hear the truth out my mouth do is share this message and with as many people as possible and especially rappers especially rappers uh, because ain't no other pastor or bishop coming for them ain't no other CEO coming for for them and to help save them um, or go take their time to cover our people who are seeming to be troubled, the troubled people, right? Um, and, and, and and know the devil, and we gotta understand the devil has put a hit. He's put a hit on the head of all of them and they know it, but won't take the time to come for them. So if anybody on here religious, keep scrolling. This ain't for you. If you're religious, keep scrolling. You got, if you're judgmental, keep scrolling. It's for the real ones, for people who really who care what, what up black what up what up i ain't playing no games you right black it's for this for my people and for those out here these people kids they hip-hop artists they they buck wild but these are somebody's loved ones and they're being tricked and i'm not going for it no more and the truth gonna be told right here and right now because first of all people don't really care to empower because a lot of these people in the industry they are vampires they high up in business 
And guess what? These vampires, they found a way to eat. Listen to me. To eat off of their, off of their beef, off of their indictments, off of their death, and off of their darkness. These vampires then found a way to eat off of them. And, 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 and watch this. But, but big, but Pastor Mo, first of all, my name is Pastor Mo, a.k.a. the street sweeper, a.k.a. the street preacher, a.k.a. my brother and sister's keeper. I'm Big Unk. Big Unk, Pastor Mo, the street sweeper. Uh, I'm about to tell the truth, y'all. And the Bible says in John 6, uh, tell the truth and the truth shall make you free. It shall set you free. So I'm going to set somebody free today. And so for years, here we go, for years and decades, let me get into this. Make sure my phone got charged. I'm going to switch it up in a minute. For decades, young, black, and brown boys and girls from the hood, the ghetto, the projects, was biologically and geographically confined to poverty and, and to losing and helplessness and hopelessness right facts big jake meaning that means that you were you were born into nothing raised up to be nothing according to the numbers of the game meaning the numbers mean that you were counted out counted out of a life that's worth living. Counting out of success. Counting out of generational wealth. And only counting in to the number of welfare and uh, generational, watch this, uh, 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 stress, generational uh, educational pipeline to prisons. Generational pi educational pipelines to prisons you counted it in that number and watch this and from there the mortuary or funeral homes got the rest of the change off the body they count your social security number count your name count your person uh into into educational pipelines to prison death and welfare and the funeral home got the rest of the change off your body Biggie Small said it like this. One of the greatest rappers in the of all time said, "Either you got a, uh, uh, either you slinging rocks, or you got a wicked jump shot." He said, "Either you slinging rocks, or you got a wicked jump shot." Meaning, what he meant was that is uh, uh, the black. If you're black, hood born youth did not have but a couple of options to make it out the hood, and that was from selling drugs. Killing your own people, poisoning your own people, genocide, or playing sports, and having them come cherry pick the tallest, fastest, high jumping is person, and then putting you out there, not giving you nothing, uh, but charging everybody else for all this education. Coming in the hood, taking our very best, and and leaving our hood empty and void. So either you was an athlete, or you was a drug dealer, or you on a stripping pole, uh, 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 slanging your body. Now, that is both real and false. Watch this now. It's an oxymoron. It's both real and false because we know it's big business. We now know there's big business in real estate. That's another way. We know that now. We also know that the engineering is a way out. Engineering is a way out. Nurses, we know now that nurses are driving Benzes now. They front line in Benzes. Some are getting paid 15000 a week to go deal with COVID right now in some states. 15000 a week. We now know this now, right? But from a project kid family of five from the projects and a house with no father, a bold school system, no mentor, forced gang affiliation type of way 
it's also a reality that you can't see nothing. Huh? But out that window, but but poverty, you didn't see nothing. Because in that gang affiliation, in that life that you was forced into, in that neighborhood of genocide, you couldn't see nothing out that window but poverty. Or watch this. Or you saw Big Yam them. Big Yam them. Come on. Big Yam them was out there slanging yams, getting money. Or your pretty thick cousin who was on a pole because she's cute and pretty and thick. And she on the pole, watch this. She on the pole at the crazy horse. You saw, you might have saw her. Let me make sure I get this uh, power up. Y'all hold on. Keep these power cords going. Yo, yeah, yeah, your cousin, she on that pole dancing. You might have saw her uh, 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 getting money, right? But look, but look, but look at it. But look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. This is what the world showed you. It's what the world showed you. And when you saw how every, watch this, here's the other trickery, how every religious, your religious auntie, when you saw how she was treated in that choir, huh? You didn't want no parts of that church long after that. You done with that church. When you saw how your sister and your auntie was treated in these choirs, how people was, how, 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 how religious churches will act, you didn't want no part of no church. And watch this. That was another way the devil got down on you. He tricked you out your God, out your, out your faith by throwing religion in your face and throwing bad examples in church, in church situations. Hold on. I'm just getting started. Just getting started. Somebody say facts. Say facts. So after all this poverty and seeing family members take L's, crack cocaine killed us, right? And feeling like a young, black, unathletic person has no way out, God comes and drops down a jewel on the black American culture called hip hop on the urban diaspora. He come drop down a gift, a jewel called hip hop. Because we had what? A wicked jump shot or slinging rocks or strip pole that was no other way that we saw outside of a poverty prison to pipeline situation. I understand we had other options in good families, well to do families, educated families, those who did good. Mama on crack, mama in jail, mama didn't have no job, on welfare, no father, no mentor, five kids, no help. It was, it, it's different for them. It was different for them. Listen. God gives young, at this point, he drops hip hop. What'd he do? God gives young, broken, uneducated people a chance at wealth. Let me talk. I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. It doesn't matter if you were handicapped, if you were blind. Remember the guy Blind Fury that was on, on the basement? Blind Fury, you could have been blind, handicapped, no education. No father, motherless. It didn't matter if you had good credit or bad credit, like life society uh, uh, measure you up by your credit. Can't even get insurance that your credit is good on your car. Med your medical record didn't matter. You could be musically inclined. Watch this, or tone deaf. It didn't matter. Raspy voice like mine. Can't sing a lick like Boosie. Can't hold a note like Boosie or able to sing like Mo3. It didn't matter. You could be convicted felon. A country speaking, speaking with, uh, uh, with impediment. Have an impediment. Speaking country and fast. Do y'all think Lil Baby would have ever gotten past the front door and at Apple talking the way he does without rap power? Oh, Apple bow down a little baby right now today. But we remove rap out of the way. You think that he would have made it into Apple, Fortune 500 company to get a job? Talking like, yeah, no, it's fire. I got to have fire. You know, God bless me. You know, God bless me. 
you know, and I got power. I, I, I get the money, you know. You think he would have made it in there talking like that? Country, broken language, Ebonics. Listen, short, tall, big or small, unlike sports. Sports, if you too short, you ain't making it. Too tall and goofy, you ain't making it. Huh? You could be overweight, big, unattractive. It didn't matter. Huh? My man said what? Heartthrob never, black and ugly as ever. However, however, God gave poor black people, disenfranchised people, urban people, a life jacket out on the waters of a sea that's rough. He gave them, us, a life jacket called hip hop. Listen to me. Let me talk. Let me talk. And the first, watch this. The first thing the devil do is he hijacked it. <laughs> he hijacks hip hop and make damn sure, watch this, that nobody, that nobody in hip hop actually gives God the credit or thanks in their music that they would ever reach success doing that. The first thing he does is he snatched hip hop and he hijacked it and makes sure that nobody that ever gives God glory, give God's praise, the bow down to God, the thanks God, that talks about God and enlightenment ever gets credit. Look at Kanye. What did he say? If I make Jesus watch, but if I say, if I say Jesus, it what? It takes away from my spins. But he pray it don't take away from his ends. Remember, he said it in Jesus' walk. Okay? It was real. You don't get successful talking about God. He hijacks, he hijacks hip-hop. Watch this. He stole God's glory. And now he flipped them on their neck and got them celebrating the demon. The demon in them. Can I talk? Can I keep it real? What did he say? Pull up in the demon on God. For real? Pull up in a demon on God. Got him driving demons, driving hellcats. Oh boy, he playing with it. Oh, he playing with it. They, they And they rap lines, don't bring this demon out of me. Don't press me. All I hear is about don't press me. Don't, don't bring the demon out. The demon, the, the, the demon coming. Got him celebrating the demon now. Flipped him. Can I talk? Can I talk? So the demon has hijacked hip hop. The, has hijacked what God gave us. Out of our struggle. What God gave his people through the gift and the black swagger. Embedded in us. You can't get. See some people got to go learn how to do this swagger and hip hop. And Eminem had to learn this culture. Keep it real with you. But he ain't but one. They had to learn this, but it's embedded in us. He put the gift and the talent and the swagger and the, and, and, and the, and the wordplay in us. When you look up the cultures, you'll see, you'll see cultures, it'll say about Mexicans having, and it's, it's biblical, having the ability to work strong, to be stronger and work. Uh, uh, the, uh, the Chinese and Asians will have, uh, will have a strong mind. But it says the black person will be athletically strong and, and, and he'll be gifted in speech. We was given the gift by God. Listen, embedded in us. And now, and now he got his people to turn their backs and bite the hand that's feeding them. They, they bite the hand to feed them now. They turn their back on God. He got hip hop to turn their back on God. They only say thank God at an award show. To keep it, you know, to keep it correct politically, right? He said, turn your back on God. And once he did that, he said, now, now he said, turn your back and hatred on each other. Now turn your gun on each other. Once you disrespect God, turn your back, turn your back on God, turn your back on each other. Now turn your gun on that nigga right now. Turn your gun on oh, oh, right now. Listen, now he say, y'all been getting too rich. Y'all been getting too powerful. You've been eating too good. Now you raising rich 
Black intelligent babies. Black babies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Go kill that nigga. Excuse my language. Let me talk now. Go kill that nigga right now. Oh, no. They, they, they started to put kids in school and, and get them formally understanding about who they are. And, and, and no, no. Oh, no. Give me that back. Go kill him. Why? Why should I go kill him? Find a reason. Find a reason. But he ain't did nothing to me, Mr. Devil. Do he live in your neighborhood? Do he live on your block? No. Go kill him then. What you mean? He ain't did nothing. He a op. He ain't from your block. He op. Go kill him. What you talking about to me? He said, did he or she claim your set? No. Go press him then. They talking too big, throwing up the wrong set. They talking about living good and diamonds and this and that and, and driving, uh, driving foreigners and they throwing up the wrong set. Go press them. But Mr. Devil, if I kill one of them, they going to kill two of us. So? You worried about that? If, if, they, if, if, if it go down, they in the game. You know what it is. Ain't no lanes in us. Go get a t-shirt. And just tell them to say, rest up. Sorry for your loss. Rest up. I'll see you and pour out some liquor. You got some liquor to pour out? What you crying for? What you crying about? Huh. I thought y'all was gang. Are you gang? The only tears you're supposed to have in your eyes when you gang is the tattoo one. That means I got bodies talking about to me. Go kill them. Never mind. Watch this. I'm getting close. Never mind how hard of a struggle it took you to get to your point of even being an artist, a respected artist. They have no respect. Devil has no respect for the grind and for the fight and for the how hard it took you to get to where you at today. Watch this to become a successful artist because that's what you are. You are an artist. You're not a trap boy. You ain't no murderer. You ain't no, you ain't no killer. You ain't no bum. You ain't no loser. You are an artist. Same way Quincy Jones was one. Same way Michael Jackson was one. Same way Barbara Streisand is one. Same way Justin Bieber is one. You are an artist. Don't be tricked about that. And it's, and it's, a, it's honor in that. You are a gifted artist. You're a musician. Listen. Let me tell you how, huh, uh, how all the hell you've been through. All the fake stuff you've been through. All the blood, sweat, and tears. You had to suffer. Watch this. To get to this point, just to let the devil trick you out your blessing, hip-hop world, are we going to be this stupid? Are we going to be? Are we gonna get played like a lame? All the, all the work you've been through to get here to be the artist? Man, listen here. Many of you start out rapping from the mud. Let me keep it 100 with you. Y'all wasn't giving this thing. It came out the mud. Can I talk? You then climbed up out the swamp with trap money, some of y'all. Some of y'all with y'all work money. You working, you working at a job and left the job and went to the studio. You didn't risk some of y'all with trap money. You didn't risk your freedom to go to the studio to get something off your chest and to record your form of art. Listen, you was Ubering. You had no car. You took Ubers to the studio at night. Some places you ain't even safe at. You buying beats from the internet. Because people trying to play you out on the beats. Can't get a beat from the big time guys no more. You buying on the internet. Let me talk. Let me talk. Huh. Dudes would not show up for you. You went through hell. Dudes been showing up for you on your video day. 
They went, do is when bring they whips out and bring they car for you on your video day. Same dudes that went to the car show, but they put up at that car show, didn't they? And they paid them some dudes they don't even know. They went to that car show and paid guys they don't know, but wouldn't show up to your video and pull their whip out. Huh? But you had all their videos with guns, taking chances, getting indicted. Can I talk? Huh. Nobody, even your own family, would even share your music. Wouldn't download it. Wouldn't share your video. But other artists, they putting a fire emoji all behind them. Doing TikToks on people they don't never know. But wouldn't share your music. You been through hell. Let me talk, y'all. You been through hell. Find you a rapper to share this video with. Listen. You spending your last on a mixing master. Because you didn't finally got the right vocals with the right beat. After all these records, all these failed attempts, you finally got the right vocals, got the right beat. But now your girl mad was mad because you had to drop the song on her birthday weekend. Remember that one? And now, and now your bread was low. Watch this. Instead of her creating a party to debut your song, and let everybody hear you perform it and rock live with you and then put it in their cell phones and then begin to share it. She chose to start a whole fight and said you put the music over her birthday. Oh my God. But say she supported you. I want to know why y'all ain't together no more. You didn't been through all that. Can I talk? Huh? You didn't fell out and almost came to blows with videographers. They didn't had your visuals for months and then put other folk in front of you. And then when, when, when you got when you got on their head about it, they sent you the a rush job video. Huh? Can I talk all the hell you've been through? You've been through being put on the shelf. Huh? You've been through being the last person in the crew they ever wanted to put out. Cause they put their cousins in front of you. And they knew you was colder than their cousins. But because they was family, they put their family in front of you. You had to leave that whole crew, that whole family, and become an op because they wouldn't do you right. You've been through all of that. Can I talk? You didn't quit rapping. Took a job to get your life and get your head right. Only to end up start back rapping at the job, in the kitchen, on lunch break, out at the basketball court on lunch break with the other rappers. And, and got pulled back into the studio by one of them. Because they knew you was cold. They asked you for help. And you showed up to the studio to help them. And got bit by the bug again. Now you back in the studio. But this time, watch this. You're wiser. You're stronger. You're more focused. You know what to do with the beat now. You know how to ride it. You know how to swag it. You know not to do too much on the song lyrically. You got your metaphor game tight now. Your auto tune is right. You know what level to tell your engineer to put your vocals at. You finally got your own sound. You fire now. You fire now. You didn't drop, popped, and got signed. <laughs> you didn't drop, popped, and got signed. You fire now. You was supposed to, you was opening up, paying to open up shows with the lights on and the folk in there ain't paying you no attention. They're on their cell phone or you performing with the lights on. And then here come the other artists, the main artists, lights go out, here come the light show, everybody listen, everybody get the lights, they, what, what happened when you was performing? You went through all that. Oh my God. Can I talk? But now you fire, now you popping, now you sign. Listen. Huh. And you didn't got a hit on your hands. Got a hit record. You didn't got a hit and it's going national, baby. People you were thinking you would never meet are now actually calling you for features. You getting features. Watch this. Then you created a you didn't created a whole bag out of this one hit. You didn't bless mama. Copped your first whip. Got you a nice condo, you out the way now? Can I talk? 
you done took Bay and got her straight, took on her first trip, took y'all first trip in peace, not worried about a budget. Can I talk? You done got your crew from the job, put them on. Them boys you started at the job with, got your crew with you now. Got them signed under you. You, you had to get them some money. Huh? To save them from what you went through. Can I talk? You didn't made it that far. You didn't got your family on, your crew on, your, your people on. You didn't made it this far. You didn't got invited to perform at a big award show. I'm almost done, y'all. And watch this. Just to get into it with another rapper over a misunderstanding. You did all that to get to another rapper, get into it with a rapper at a at an award show or at a party performance over a misunderstanding. Now watch this. Then you let bloggers finesse y'all and do watch this and do the old come on old trickery. The old knock my knock the stick off my shoulder. That mean your mama. Remember that? The old knock the stick off my shoulder. That mean your mama. Oh, push him in the back. And, and got bloggers tricking y'all to beef now. Come on. And now you about to kill or be killed. And all the fans was ready to make you rich. Ready to make you powerful. And to give and the hand hand you an opportunity to help your entire neighborhood, help your entire crew, help your entire family, help your entire region. And this, you didn't let the devil came in and trick you to kill the minds of your community. This book's going to happen to the most influential people now in hip-hop. I made a song said, you got a Lamborghini, what you crying for? You made it out the hood, what you dying for? And I want to say to the hip hop community, you are better than this dog. They tricking you, they got insurance on you. They using you, using your beef, your ops, all that's being part of the game. Man, listen here, man, listen, Mo3 and Chuck Burry Freddy need to, hey, hey they could have squashed that. Now one dead, one on the run, one one scared, your little beach is scared. Come on. Look, King, it's King Vaughn. King Vaughn had just gave his whole crew uh, 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 old block chains. Gave him a whole bag, got, gave all them thousands that morning. He had just signed his deal with his crew. And, and they was going out to celebrate his album release. Them boys, some of them never made it to buy a pop, a pop off their money. They never made it to where they chain the next morning look in the mirror and see their old block chain. Come on. The devil is tricking us. And then now you got now you got all them other boys, they running, it's beef, it's it's it's, it's, it's murder, it's police watching, they're going to jail. Look at Biggie Smalls and Pop. Look at Nipsey Hustle. It's, I'm telling y'all. Pop smoke. We got to wake up, y'all. You got to do better. And in your community, man, you're responsible. There's some young kids watching you. Listen, let's, let's, let's be brothers. Let's be sisters. Let's be family. God gave this to us. Let's honor God. Let's honor yourself, man. Don't die. Don't get tricked in this. Don't get tricked in this. Don't die in this. Don't get played. Don't get, listen, listen don't get flipped. Don't get flipped because you're a rapper. You're an artist. You're a musician. God has blessed you. You got talent. You got gifts. You go have wealth. But you can also end up in a casket, like a basket. They will not play with you. And your mama going to be out here trying to find out how she going to bury you, how these boys come up here shooting her house up. You dead. You was tough. You was tough, but you dead. Now your mama out here trying to figure out how she got to sell chicken dinners to bury you. And they over there not shooting her house up, and she over there scared to death. And ain't nobody else going to do nothing. I'm telling you, you're going to die and play yourself. You go to jail, ain't nobody going to jail with that indictment with you. Yeah, when, when Big Beast went to jail, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Jeezy ain't going to jail with him. I'm just keeping it 100. You got, they say, they will tell on you. They will tell on you, you will die, and you will be in a, in a real dire straits. Listen, I love y'all. 
I love y'all. Share this live feed. Share this live feed. Don't go nowhere. Share this live feed. I want you to share this with everybody. I want you to share with every rapper. Share with every artist. Share it in the hip hop industry. Uh, uh, it's my heart out to you. I'm Pastor Mo. I'll pray with you. Call and talk to me. I try to talk to all the rappers in Detroit. I talk to Icewear Vizzo. I talk to, I talk to T, T Grizzly. Uh, 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 I want to hit with Sala. I know it's daddy. Sala baby. I, I know all the, all the hip hop artists and even and, and the gospel artists. I want to I encourage you to be better and stronger. You know, I'm with Dre B's, the Godson. I know I know Cash Dial. I know I talk to I want to pr I pray with all of them. I pray with them. But we got to survive this. Got to survive this. It's a gift. It's a way out. It, 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 it has no prejudice on it. But don't use it for the devil and use it for your own destruction. You got to win and be more better. May God bless y'all. May God keep y'all. I'm telling you, rise up. Share this live feed. Share this video because it's real. If it's fake, don't share. If you got somebody you know that's in hip hop and you see what's going on, if it's real, share. If it's, if it's fake, don't share nothing. If it's real, keep it 100. May God bless y'all. I'm Squeeze People. I'm out.